What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Starting from Dragon Temple Lift, and it's time to head on out. So we're going to be trying out this new Ash of War. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but this initial part here, there's just a ton of these dudes that we need to fight. So supposedly I have Holy Essence. Cool. Yes, I do. Seven, nine, eight. I think it's doing some work now. Nope. Nope. I mean, it's not as flashy as Sacred Blade, but it sure seems like it slaps. So far, at least, it seems like it lasts longer as well. Uh, so kill all of them, and then take this path kind of heading east. Get the dog down. ran out. Well, maybe it's the same duration. I don't know. I'll have to use Sacred Blade and see what is lasting, or what gives me a larger buff, because... Was that almost up at 800? Uh, so Undead Lord Rune had left the baddie and the dog and the butterflies up the stairs for a smithing seven on the right. Here. And then there's a whole horde of enemies that we're gonna fight, so... We're gonna just knock all these dudes out of the trees. There's a bunch over there. I'm just trying to get rid of all the... Go to the tree ones first. And then you can bring a summon out here as well, so... Oh my god! No! No! Oh, that was close. So watch out for these guys, they can do a ghost flame explosion, similar to the, uh, similar to the birds. There's enough, there's enough enemies there that the game goes, you know what, you might need an Ashen Summon for this. Ooh, okay, they're all done though. More of those things, I think there's one more. And here it is, the real loot of this area, look at that golden seed, right. So, I know some folks are probably like, why are there so many golden seeds? You know, we, we, we can't use them all. And the thing is, they don't expect you to do 100%. They expect you to, you know, kind of just go through the game of play. So because of that, there is an excess number of golden seeds. So that as long as you're doing a fair amount of the content, you'll still be able to mask your flasks. Uh, anyway, um, do, 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 do. so we fight the horde, uh, golden seed and rune arc, continue east for more dudes and some smithing stuff. Ah, uh, more tree ones. We're just gonna let them drop. Alright, then we're gonna head west and drop for the Golden Lightning Fortification off of a beetle. And then we gotta take out another dragon. Oh boy. I'll test this out. Not sure how it'll work. But I know it's really good against certain boss. There's the beetle. Beetle's running towards the dragon. Please stop. A ah, very nice spell. That is going to give you like 50% lightning damage mitigation or something like that. It's pretty insane. Now this is either going to be super awesome or it's going to be terrible. Please just let me do my flashy move. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work that well. That's too ow. I not change equipment. I not change equipment. Okay, I get it. You don't want me changing equipment. We can 
didn't see the dragon ended up leaving. Um, that dragon, he'll just he'll respawn there. Uh, you can just keep fighting him until he's dead, but he does he he always respawns. So that that's a um, you know it's not like a you kill it and it's gone for good. You can kill it and you'll get that twenty one thousand six hundred however many runes it was, but it's kind of a pain in the ass, you know. We grabbed the smithing eight. That's what we wanted. Anyway, uh, let's see. We got the beetle. Uh, the dragon does drop gravel stone, so you can farm him for gravel stone. We got the smithing eight. We're gonna go around east of here. Killed the two dogs already. There's a big hole right there. Don't go down that hole. Instead, around here you can see a path that we can take down to get a piece of loot. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. And now we're going to head on up top. Take the left one here. That one gets you closer to make this jump across. <laughs> yeah, let's use this. Uh, now, there is a dragon that's supposed to fight you here. I'm guessing it's not here because Alexander is, but even after beating Alexander, uh, the dragon wasn't showing up on the prep save, so we're gonna do the Alexander portion of things, and then just kind of test it to see what's going to happen. Talk to him. This is the, the final portion of Alexander's test. A fight to the death. Uh, he has a pretty crazy uppercut that he might do. That thing. And just straight going pure Street Fighter, but otherwise it shouldn't be that bad. As I suspected. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> you were a proud warrior. And now we get the Shard of Alexander and the Innards. Now the Shard is what I've been waiting for. Uh, this is going to be my fourth final talisman. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, this gives like a 15% boost to any weapon skill you do. So if you're like, you know, well, you know, I don't know what I want for my fourth slot. Shard of Alexander is a damn good choice, especially if you use your weapon skills a lot. Um, so with him down, uh, that other item is for the pot people's quest. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, we're going to continue along the path. Jump across. Should be a smithing stone. Yeah, get up. There we go. And we can go over this way and continue around even more. This is that little area that we saw above us earlier that we didn't figure out how to reach. And I was like, you know, you'll get their area or whatever. We knew how to reach it, but when I was saying you can't get there right now, you'll just have to wait till later. No. I'm trying to remember if these are undead beast men. They may be. Just in case, I'll put this in. Oh. Oh, so there's one that's like right inside here. Usually is. Oh, it might just be this guy coming around. So get the ancient dragon apostles cookbook. Oh, wow, you can make all kinds of goodies. Take that one out. So, so no, there is another one. Okay, uh, smithing seven, cookbook by Beastman, return for a somber eight, drop for a smithing eight, and then we're back to Dragon Temple lift. So we go over here. The somber eight. You can see there's a little piece of candy right below us. Drop down. The smithing eight. 
And then real fast, I'm gonna quit and reload just to see if a dragon spawns there, because I feel like there used to be. I'm starting to wonder if maybe they removed that particular dragon with 1.03. Because on stream, everyone was like, oh no, it's because Alexander's there, but Alexander's gone, and I don't think that dragon's spawning in. Which, I mean, it doesn't drop anything, it's just another 21,000 rune dragon you can kill. And, yeah, no dragon. It's usually, like, waiting for you, so... Anyway, uh, that wraps up that whole adjacent area, so... Uh, do, 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 do. We want to go back to the lift. Left is right here. It's hard to see. Uh, I'm not sure what we have coming up. I think it's just normal guys, so we'll go back to this. So, down the elevator, and then we want to go this way and pretty much drop, and I think that's it. Yeah, down here, and then we can drop. So, this is where we would have gone originally if we didn't take that path. Uh, looping around to fight all that extra stuff. Here. Up. And then drop again. Very careful here. Oh. Nice little passive defense boost if you want it. Which, by the way, those are great in PvE, but in PvP, um, the values that you're actually getting from them aren't, like, really stated. So I wouldn't recommend using that stuff in, uh, in PvE. Um, let's see, there's the one guy over here. Let's kill these two first. I was, thought I was blocking, but apparently not. Done. Um, let's see, swing right and up the stairs for a beast and dog by dappled meat, back down and proceed to grace. Two beasts to the left, but no loot. Okay. Oh god, the lightning hurts so bad. For some reason, you want to return back there, uh, right from here. Let's jump up that, and we can use this to jump back over to that area since that's like a one-way trip down. I feel like I need to do some min-maxing with this build. It's still like a. Uh, you know, it's been a fun build. I have a large variety of weapons that I'm able to use, but, um... I mean, if I specialize this, especially given the stuff I'm using, if I gave up on my Bloodhound's Fang and went Strength, this would be a lot more effective, because I could drop Dex down to 12 for that, 10 for that. Yeah, I'll probably just go to Strength and then dump all those points elsewhere. Uh, Crucible Knight, though. You all already know the drill with these guys. Do whatever you do to beat them. In my case, that's parrying. After a parry, I don't have enough time to get off a heal. Okay, go 
forward from him for a smithing eight. You can see it over there. Jump down to here, and we have a grace right up ahead. Okay, so this next part has a bunch of birds. Probably gonna pull out this just because the jumping attack is good at hitting the little buggers. If I can ever actually hit him. Please stop. Please stop, bird. Oh my god. I'm about to pull out the damn crossbow. Ooh. Ooh. I hate birds so much. These ones don't even have the swords on their feet. They're just very, very strong. anymore either. Trying to do this, please. Get away. Okay. So, just drop right here. It's gonna be red lightning all over. Just ignore it for now and hop on down. And then hop on down again. And go around this to gain access to a new set. Drake Knight armor. It's okay. Bastion is... It's like a big, big dragon wing thing coming off of the chest on it, so it's a little bit goofy, but I don't know. It's not bad. Right this up to the top, we got some great bolts waiting for us. And one of these dudes. crab like crazy so as you ride it down just get ready to fall off part way through and do I still have vitality yeah let's put that on too oh my god I forgot I had rocks oh yeah come here you birdie shits so jump onto the roof this lightning is going to keep coming for a minute so we're just going to be using uh, these little rooftop areas to just avoid it Oh, that's so good. Yeah, you want another rock to your face? Oh, bird. Jump on roof and go right for bird. Two more birds below and Arteria. So the lightning, you can really just kind of avoid it. You can very clearly see where it's going to strike. Oh, those are the birds. I want the birds before I'm dealing with the lightning. You, come here. Delightful way to deal with them. Just one more bird, but not worried about it. Get him in a bit. Okay. Oh god, see this is the danger of fighting the birds and the dragon. 
some slight coverage down here, so I can at least take out the bird before I go deal with the dragon. Okay. Now that the birds are done, let's rush this asshole so this lightning show stops. He's mostly dead already. You can see his health bar. We're just gonna have to walk up, whack him like three or four times, and he'll go down. That's where we're going to go to proceed, but there's more to this zone before we do that. Go on over here, get another somber ancient dragon smithing stone. I don't know why I upgraded the Zamor Curve Sword. I mean, it'll be fun to use, I guess. It's not even really using it right now, but... I mean, these late game areas, it's just so risky to, to power stance, you know, you're way better off doing a stronger defense. Bird birds, I think seven, another golden seed, hooray. I think that was it though, let me see. Um, two more birds below an arteria, more birds ahead. 25, nearby Somber Tem, up top for two hawks, a plus seven, and a seed. Okay, and we're going to head east and drop for a few different items. You can already see the rock faces. Uh, there's some gravel stone you can pick up as you, like, climb down these. If you ever need gravel stone, come back by here and get a bunch of it. Okay. And we have some banished knights again. this whole time without using my shield bash at all and it should be like hitting almost as hard as my damn sword at this point with the shield upgraded. There's something on you? Oh you didn't. Try that again. Trying. Don't worry. You'll get there soon. <laughs> that was amazing. Really do need to use that more. I think for the Halig Tree, y'all are just gonna see me. I'm just gonna literally shield bash my way through the Halig Tree. Do do do. Sneak up behind this guy. Goodbye. That knight that came for us, he was supposed to be guarding this chest. The Dragon Tower Shield. I can't believe how well hidden this thing is, because it's just like, I mean, it's it's a tower shield. There's nothing special about it. It has, it has 100 physical. The guard boost is, is okay, 69. I mean, good guard boost to, well, I mean, at its weight, 17.5, really not. Like, I don't get it. Why is this thing so tucked away? It's it's so incredibly well hidden, and it's, and it's just a freaking shield. Anyway, take the elevator. And this is going to get us the Bolt Drake plus two. Oh, that's right, there's still more bullshit. Gotta go all this way. Forgot about the extra bullshit. Uh, let me heal up. Uh, hit the elevator, yep. Okay. Let's 
wait a little bit. He's gonna, there's a bunch of beastmen there. Just let them do their thing. There's no reason for you to run and get involved in all that bullshit. I'm gonna try shield bashing the crucible knight. Let me put on my parry shield just in case it's not working out. You did good. Now you must fight a true master. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not going to be worth trying to. He didn't stagger when I shield bashed him. That is impressive. in an extra attack. Man, I, feel <laughs> I can't help but like laugh fighting these things now because I mean god they, they gave me so much trouble for so long and even at the start of the walkthrough someone was like you know I mean god how long how many how much time do we spend on the first one and then somebody was like nah dude just try parrying them and I'm like alright I swapped to a small shield and I'm just like life changed forever but anyway, this whole loop around leads us up here. Are y'all ready for this? The big reveal, the last item we get? You make it to the top. There's the bird. And boom, a bolt drake talisman plus two. Isn't that that's a that's a heavy spender right there, man. Lightning resist. So exciting. Alright, we're gonna push on to the next grace. And then, well, I don't know. Do I fit him in this episode? We're almost up to a hidden boss. No, because there's there's a bunch of other shit we gotta do. We'll have to be his own episode. And then there's the whole Halleck tree. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. No, own episode. Just don't know if I have. Well, I mean, it's also, even if I want to add him in this episode, that would be assuming that I get a near instant kill on him, which probably isn't going to happen. That's one of the casters, just be ready for the lightning. some summons I want to test out, so we could always do that. Uh, so this next room, this part could be a little bit tricky. There's that guy, there's another one on the left that are both casters, and there's a big one that's off to the right. So we're just gonna sneak, oh, nope, sneaking failed. Kill that one. It starts looking sketchy like this, just run. And the reason I'm saying just run is because there's a grace that's like right here. So you ride that elevator up, and there's going to be a grace. I'm killing these assholes first. Or, or not, or I'll maybe die. Eh, make sure you grab this. It's the somber stone miner's ball bearing. Pain in my ass. The worst part is we need to come back this way and these guys respawn, so there's really no point in struggling with them right now anyway. There we go. They are down. Let's head on up there and get a grace. And that's where we will wrap things up. 
So there is still a fair amount to do in this area. Uh, we have two bosses and a hidden boss, an invasion, which will get us our final legendary armament. Um, if you're going to continue, do not kill Malaketh. The main boss for this area, when you kill Malaketh, the capital will then be covered in ash. Uh, certain things are going to be irreversible from that point on, so do not kill him. And I'll catch you on in a little bit.